Yo, what's really good? It's the one and only Ace to the Boogie, and I'm coming to you with another review. Now, in this video, I am going to be reviewing the Nike Air Max 1 Big Bubble. You know, I'm going to give you that on feet, and it's only right I give you some outfit ideas. Stay tuned. Right and welcome back, man. So right here, I do have my box right here, and I did get these off of sneakers for Air Max Day. So you already know the vibes, man. It always feels good to get that got them. You feel me? And uh, we got the box right here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, peel back, gang. You know the vibes, man. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we got the tab. We're gonna give it a little slice. Then we're gonna go ahead and peel it back. So now this shoe right here is a very, uh, I guess this has a lot of history because most of the Air Max ones of uh, recent have like a small bubble. And so these are called the big bubble because of the original design of the Air Max one. There we go, let's peel that back. But yeah, the original design of the Air Max one has this large bubble, but I guess over time it started to crack because of like the different temperatures. And so they started to make the Air Max one with a smaller bubble. So what they did right here is they threw it back to the original, man. So right here we do have the box. As you can see, we got the Nike box. Let's go ahead and take that out. And this is a special edition box as well. Nothing else in there. But let's take a look. This is the Air Max 186 OG in white and university red. So yeah, so there's a little look at the label right there. A lovely box. We kind of got that weathered black with a little bit of red showing on that box right there. We have the Nike sign and it has like a clear, um, a clear window on it. Very nice. I will be keeping this box. You know, I do have my... Uh, well, I can stay my container store boxes that I keep my shoes in, but if they come in a, a special, you know, limited edition box, I always like to keep the box as well. Let's go ahead and open these joints up. We do have our Air Max paper. Boom. And oh, yes, they look so good. Wouldn't you agree? Let's take this joint out right here, man. Oh, yeah. Lovely. We got the Air Max one right here dope looking shoe classic shoe and in person this is a big bubble this is definitely bigger than the uh, bubbles that they release on the uh, normal air max ones i see on the inside we do have this size which is a size 10 which is my preferred size in all of my air maxes i always go with my true size but if it has like a fly knit i do go up a half a size but in these i did go with my true size let's take this paper out got the paper going to take that out and we have the all university red on that inside on the insole right there and also on the back of the tongue right here on the front of the tongue we do have that nike air same thing on that back logo this is just a really clean shoe i mean if you're like starting your collection or if you're in your collection and you need like some staples this right here is a staple because you can wear this with anything that's gray as you can see we have that gray along here anything that's red anything that's white and it's going to be a guaranteed match man so this is one of those classic ones that i am glad to finally have in my collection man so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this right here the shoelaces are your standard air max shoelaces kind of on that thinner side and i do not believe let's see yeah and there were no extra laces included with these at all but yeah i'm very uh man i'm anxious to get these on feet because you know i like to put my outfits on we're gonna do some outfit ideas let me just give you a quick look at the tread right here we have that nike tread old school right there and one thing i do want to point out on that midsole this is a smooth midsole right here and usually that usually on the new air maxes there are a couple of lines that go across but i guess with this big bubble we're just going to go ahead and have that smooth original design for the midsole but yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into the on feet portion of the video. And right here, we do have the Air Max 1, you feel me? Like I said, very classic colorway. We're going to go ahead and get these on feet. 
and I mean they feel pretty sturdy that's the uh, the way that I can really describe these is sturdy because you have a nice flat surface you know I don't want to say the cushioning is top-notch because it is from 1986 you know they have definitely a lot more comfortable shoes than these but when you're looking for that throwback type of a vibe that nostalgia these are the ones that you want to get and they are still a little bit comfortable but I mean if you just go on pure comfort there are other kicks that are better but you can't beat the look of these Air Max 1 right here. And right here for my first outfit man I decided to go with the uh, Nike woven shorts in that black. You know you got the Cincinnati Reds jersey. If you just look at that gray that's in the shoes, then you know you got that gray in the jersey. It's like you really hitting on every color. So I felt like this was a really good matchup. You know, we got the uh, Cincinnati Reds hat as well. You know, that's a hat club exclusive joint right there. But yeah, this is just like one of them daytime fits. You feel me? Summertime pool party type of a vibe. You feel me? Outdoor relaxing fit right there. And right here, I do have on the uh, Air Max with some uh, cargos that I got from Black Taylor. Now, I do have them kind of opened at the bottom because, you know, that is one of the styles that's like popular, kind of covering up the whole shoe with your pants. And that's not really my thing, but I know some people do like that. So, you know, I wanted to give that look as well. But yeah, we have a little bit of that olive right there. You feel me? The olive in the car goes is going to be good with the fit. You already know, man. Let me know what you think about the outfits. And here we go. We have the black tailor car goes with that Nike club fleece. You know, you can't go wrong with the club fleece. So I went ahead and threw the red club fleece on right there. I feel like we're getting a good uh, match with the shoes, obviously, because they're red as well. And then we have the hat. You can't forget the hats. You know me, I am a hat person. I have the uh, J-Tips Orioles on. You feel me? That's another one of those kind of uh, lighter gray stone colored hats. You get that red and everything is just really tying in very well right there, man. The hat looks good. Crew neck looks good. The whole fit to me looks good. Yeah, this is one of my like nighttime type of outfits. You feel me? Something a little bit later in the day. But yeah, this is just one of them ones, man. And right here for my third fit, I do have the gray jeans, you know, to kind of play off of some of that gray that is in the Air Maxes. Remember, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Talk to me. You already know I talk back, man. Let me know which was your favorite outfit out of the three. Let's go again to this next outfit, man. Let's see what it do. Oh yeah, this right here is the all gray fit. You feel me? I got that Nike rugby that says swoosh right there on the front long sleeve. This is another one of those nighttime fits. You feel me? Going out, doing something a little bit after six. You got those Air Maxes looking clean. You feel me? Got the gray on gray. Got that red Angels hat. That is the uh, Shohei Otani patch on the side just in case you were wondering. But yeah, man, just another clean fit. And like I said, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I got so much more heat coming. But it's your boy Ace to the Boogie, man. I appreciate y'all. But I'm out.